Hello everyone, this is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I am here with another Tag Tuesday video. Tag Tuesday is a collaboration hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. I will link her channel down below. So compared to last week, I really wanted to do something easy for some tags and I have some of these manila folders I got on clearance at Menards of all places. So I want to cut these down into some tags and decorate them. You cannot have embossing powder. You are a kitty. So if you are crafting along with me, you will need something to create some tags out of or already have some tags made. Some stickers. I have some washi stickers and I think these are kind of shiny flower stickers. Going to need some glue some distress ink if you like and some book pages and we are going to go through <laughs> my small scrap box to find some pieces of some book pages to use on our tags but first let's get this cut out so i think for these i'm gonna go about two two and a quarter and I'm only making a few today, but I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of the folder so I can have it for other tag projects. These are almost eight and a half. Just cut these in half. Okay, so now that I've got all these cut out, I am going to trim the edges at the top and I'm just using a tag I have kind of as a guide and we'll see how that looks I'm just lining it up kind of yeah that'll work okay so now we need to look for some book page pieces so what we want are some pages that we can kind of do across the tag. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, I think I'm going to go with these. Keep this one out just in case. So next thing I want to do is see if I need to trim any a little bit, which... I do on this one. So I'm going to ink the edge of this. And we'll glue it down. So if you're using vintage book pages to do this, just be careful if you're smoothing it down or even inking them up because they can kind of fall apart a little bit. And then it's also up to you if you want to ink the edges of your tag. I'm going to wait and see what they look like when they're all done to see if I want to ink them. So I'm going to get the rest of them inked and glued on real quick. Okay, I have got them all glued down. Now it's time to audition some stickers for these. I really like using like washi and clear stickers over book pages because they just look so pretty.
with it. Okay, let me clean up all the, the stickers. Okay, I've got my stickers put on. They look so pretty. One piece of advice, too, is make sure you are ready to put it on because if it gets caught on any of the paper, it's just done. And then I've had to trim just a little bit of some of the stickers off the edges just because they're a little bit big. But they look really nice. I'm really just not wanting to ink the edges for them because it. I like how they look on the tags inked. So I've got some of the Tim Holtz sentiments. So I think I might add some sentiments. We'll see what they look like. And I always add a little bit of extra glue to these. <laughs> so you could add a sentiment if you wanted to. You don't obviously have to. You can do whatever you want on yours. You could write something. You could put a wax seal, another sticker, or not. It's up to you. So I didn't punch holes at the top. I don't think I want to add anything. Now I'm starting to want to put the tabs at the top. Hmm. So I added some lace to the top of this and I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know if the it's because the tab is like... I don't have it set very far in. Maybe it's the lace. So what I think I'm going to do for now is just go ahead and punch out the other ones. Change, change this. This is like a badge reel punch. Yeah, that goes in a little further. Let's try maybe just something wider. I definitely like the wider ribbon on this one, so I'm just going to use this for two of them. I just tied a loose square knot. Let's try this on this one. I really like this one. This is really pretty. There they all are. I love how they turned out. They're really easy. You can add to them some more. You can take away. You can not do the sentiments. But using some washi stickers or some clear stickers over your book pages just looks really nice. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!